Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Uh, this video is about TypeScript, uh, the beginning of uh, my new video series. Until now, I've uh, started a lot of, a few, a few uh, video series. Don't worry, I will continue all of them. So these videos are not to show how much I know. I actually know only a little about front end development. These videos are also a journey of me learning together, uh, uh, of my learning, okay. So yeah, let's begin. So uh, for, for TypeScript uh, series, I suppose you have uh, no, have uh, the, the basic knowledge of TypeScript before. Um, this video, I'm going to cover the, the first chapter of TypeScript handbook, uh, the basic types. Okay, let's begin. Boolean, nothing special. We use Boolean true or for, false. Number, yeah, use number. Uh, just be, remember that uh, actually we have uh, uh, not a number as number and infinity. These are also uh, numbers. A string, uh, yes, just string. Nothing special. Array, we could use these brackets or use generic like this. For complex data types, uh, I prefer use this one because uh, it's easier to understand. Uh, but it's just a uh, personal pre preference. Okay, tuple. This is a new one. Um, uh, for array, we could we we suppose that all the items has the uh, same type. But if we have a mixed type, like first item is string, next one is number, we could use tuple to define the types of this array. Like we define an x like this. We assign a data. This is string number, string number. Okay, but not this number string. Yeah. TypeScript say, okay, you're wrong. So uh, an error is uh, reported. Okay. Yeah, you use tuple for mixed uh, array data. Enum. Uh, enum uh, is for interesting is something not existing in JavaScript. Uh, I use I use it, it's very con uh, convenient. Some Someone says that we should avoid using it uh, because of the, uh, I think because of the uh, uh, transpiled codes problem. Anyway, from the language itself, I say it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's say it's just something like uh, an object. We, you can think of it as an object. Okay. And this is a data type also. Uh, let's see color. So color has these three colors. Okay. Yeah. Colors dot green, just like an object, object right? Um, and the default enums begin with uh, a number starting at zero. And also we could set the uh, values like a string or numbers here. Yeah. If we use an object, what should we do? Let's try to write it. Okay. Yeah, this is something. Okay. If we use an object, we say our object is like this, but this object is dynamic. So actually, um, We should set it to const, so it meaning it's not changing. And the color here is not a value anymore. It should be what? It should be the value, uh, the color, the keys, right? The keys of this, uh, uh, so the uh, uh, key of type of color. Ah, I'm sorry, type of color, type of key. Yeah, this would be, this would be something we would write with with object, which means the type, and this is the key, red, green, blue. Comparing to enum, enum is much better, right? Yeah, let's just use it, <laughs> I like it. Okay, next one is unknown. Unknown, just uh, as Nemi says, we don't know what it is, right? Like you get some data from the API, you're not sure what it is, then, use unknown yeah remember if you're not sure give it unknown because uh if you want um uh, process the the unknown values and uh, the type script well gives you the error like here like say okay this is a maybe but it uh this is a variable it's unknown and we assign it to number because it's unknown it cannot be assigned to number right so type script say okay unknown is not assignable 
this is a second example. If maybe it's this because it's unknown, we could check. If it is true, then it's uh, okay because it's boolean. We could set it to boolean, but it cannot set bit tr string. Yeah, because it's already uh, a boolean, right? Okay, if it is a string, we could have set it to string, but we cannot set it boolean. So this is unknown. Very, if you don't know, it said if you don't know, know it, I'm not sure what it is. Set it to unknown. Of course, if you if you're not, if there are so many unknowns, it's just like a, it, it's like a, it's a, a disaster, right? <laughs> but if some code beside uh, beyond your scope, use unknown. Any, any is the uh, opposite of the unknown. It means, okay, it could be anything is uh, fine. Anything is fine. We just, we don't check the type. It's the opposite of unknown, actually. Or you could say unknown is the type safe version of any. Okay, you say we have a function, return any, and you should say if I uh, assign it the val return value to a string, then okay, because you said any, then it should be a string. It means, any means, uh, I, I'm not, it, it, it is what we want. It is what I want, but I, I, I I'm not. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's a just. A, it is just what I want. So it there's will be no problem. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm explaining it right. Anyway, so this is any. It could be assigned it to any type, and this could be useful for some uh, the npm modules that uh, it doesn't have the right type, and you could say uh, set it to any, and you trust the API. It says you return a string, so okay. Uh, you, you just uh, set it to any. So here you say uh, create a variable called any, and you can call any method of it because it's any. This won't. This would be good. Type square don't doesn't check the type, so it's okay. This is also okay, but it's unknown. It's not okay. Use unknown. Okay. Next one is void. Void means return not nothing, but for for JavaScript actually for. Uh, for uh, for the function returns nothing, um, it actually implicitly return undefined, right? To 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 tell the difference between uh, the, the the return undefined and implicitly return not uh, undefined, uh, the void is added for this purpose. Void is the opposite of any having any type of, at all. It's just uh, nothing. Remember. Mm. Yeah, usually used for function, and we could assign null. Huh? It's not useful because you can only assign null or undefined to them. If we use strict null checks, we cannot assign to null. Okay, let's see. Let a uh, avoid. It actually should be undefined. It's okay. If it's a null, it's not okay. Because we turned on the uh, strict null checks. Oh, great! And next one, null and define undefined. Just a null undefined. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. Never, never is something I really uh, not very familiar with. I never used used it before. Okay, never means that uh, it never happens. Like uh, for void, if we set the void for a function, it means the function is is com completed and just re returns nothing. But for void, it means the function is never done. So there's no, no this is a return nothing, and this is no return. <laughs> return nothing is void, no, re no return is never. So never returns. So just as the name says, it's never. So we say we have a function, we throw never, so this function never actually finishes. So there's no return. So we add the never here. And this never, never could be assigned to any type. Mm -hmm. But no type could be set to never because it's never. <laughs> it's kind of mind twisting. Let's, uh, uh, okay. Let's uh, remove the never to see it actually is the type is void. It's suppo it doesn't check the throw actually. 
So this code actually uh, for, for, for the compiling, it, it thinks that error uh, will, will, be, uh, pro, uh, will be run uh, normally, but it's actually not. So we add never, now it becomes a never. Okay. Or if there is an infinite loop, it's still never. Uh huh. Um, I, I'm not sure whether the never where it should never be used. Actually, I found that these uh, the use case for it never. Uh, one is about the uh, the generics. Uh, generics we will cover later. The other one is more obvious. Let's take a look. So. Let's suppose that we have a have a type uh, is a union type. Maybe a DTO might be this, or might be this, or or uh, or this, right? So before, uh, wait a minute, uh, uh, here. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this one. Okay, we have interface, square, rectangle, circle. So this is shape at three types. And we have write a function to check, right? Check this shape if it is kind of a square, and then okay, it is square. And this, if it is a rectangle, it's rectangle. Now, because we write code like if else, right? If there are more types like circle, actually we miss it out. So the circle is missed. To solve this problem, uh, maybe at the first there's no circle, and this if else is just to be fine, but but later we add a circle here and this code is not touched and so there's a problem right so if the circle this function actually returns not defined to solve to avoid this risk we could else so else said to set the s to never because nothing could be said to never unless it's uh, it's never this will be reported an error if the circle is added right Yeah, so the type so type script actually helps us to avoid this kind of risks. Yeah, if we don't write this code, yeah, we, we do nothing about the circle and there's no error, it would be fine. We could ask this to 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 mandatorily uh, list up all the possible types. Yeah, so this is the use case. Another one is generic, we'll cover it later. Okay, so this is never. Never return and return nothing. It's different. Remember, object. Okay, this uh, smaller case object means the object literal. Yeah, the primitive types a non primitive type. Primitive type. Yeah, object. Type assertion. Uh, as. Yeah, we could uh, as type. Uh, the type assertion is a, a way to tell the compiler, trust me, I know what I'm doing. A type assertion is like a type cast. Uh -huh. Cast body performs no special checking or restructuring of data. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is unknown. And uh, you tell the TypeScript said, okay, I know it's string. Okay, then it says string. Okay, it's fine. Another one is you can use this one, angle bracket. Mm, I would prefer ass. Okay, let, let, yeah. This is uh, the same spec as the JavaScript, so I'll skip it. And the uh, capital case number string, this is a wrapper object, just the same as the JavaScript. So the string is an object, actually. And uh, uh, for, no, for, for the common cases, we should use the uh, uh, primitive types. Okay, let's say... Let's see the uh, the case here. Let uh, let uh, a string to be a string. Let a b string. This is a primitive primitives. Okay, a could be signed to b. Yeah, this is for sure. And because b will be uh, uh, b will be um, wrapped. By the wrapper object, right? String um, b equals a. This is different. 
So A is an object, actually. B is a primitive, so cannot be set. This is the difference between the wrapper object. OK. So that's all for the basic types. Um, we need to pay a, a special attention to the unknown. We're not sure what it is. Every time I, I would check it, and it is any. OK, it, don't check. Uh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Um, everything is fine, TypeScript. Void returns nothing. OK, never, never returns. OK, so that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.